Shout out to the KJ family. Rock with Kristen and Jamil. We're back, you guys, for another food review. Woo! But not just any review. What? Guys, today we are trying a brand new pizza from Little Caesars. Pizza, yes. pizza. Okay, this is a brand new menu item that just came out. Pizza, pizza. And babe, do you know what this is called? Uh, it's called the pepperoni pizza. <laughs> is, that, is that what it's called? It's <laughs> is that a, what it's called? That's no, what it is. It's yeah. what it is. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, it's called the Fanceroni Pepperoni oh. Pizza. Now, finally, <laughs> um, Little Caesars came out with the old-fashioned like pepperoni slices, the ones that are mm -hmm. smaller and circular and kind of curl on the outside when they're baked. Yep. Which... Um, for those of you, I hope most of you guys have had this kind of pepperoni, but if you haven't, it's it really is good. the best kind of pepperoni. I'm not a huge pepperoni fan, but I do appreciate when places put this type of pepperoni on it. Yeah, I agree. There's a place that was close to us um, called Mountain Mike's. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if everyone has that pizza place, but they only use this type of pepperoni. It and it was, so it's good. so, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. It's funny. I didn't know it was like old style though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought it was like... I thought it was just a certain pepperoni that they had, you know? Yeah. So. It's called oh, the old, I think it's, sorry, it's called the old world. The old world? Fanceroni pepperoni. Oh, the old world. I just world. said fancy. Yes, the old world. <laughs> so this is the old world pizza. Okay. And so, also fun fact, this mm -hmm. is supposed to have 100 pieces of pepperoni on it. And we're about to count them right now, guys. <laughs> One, two, no. Three, four. <laughs> Mr. Beast would have done it. I know, that's true. So we'll just have to take their word for it if you guys, you know, want yeah. to count it for us. Yeah. That's, that's it. Let us know. <laughs> Let exactly. us know. Pause it and count. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, let's pull back a little further. There you okay. go. That's all of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to taste test for you, uh, taste test this pizza for you guys today, review it, and then we're just going to chat a little bit also yeah. at the end. Sounds good. It's just before it gets cold. Okay. So are we starting with ranch? Are we starting with... Uh, oh, we got our sauces. We got our cheesy jalapeno sauce, which, by the way, guys, if you haven't gotten this before from uh, from Little Caesars, you you definitely got to get it. Yes. It's very good. And then we got ranch right here. Uh, they didn't cut it. All the way through? I should have asked for a double cut. Well, I'm going to get a knife. Well, I got it. No, I got you. Okay, okay, fam. We cut the pizza off camera. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I think I could have asked for... You can get like different types of cuts, regular cuts, double cut, oh. hearty cut, no cut. Um, I just got regular, but I should ask for, I guess, a double. I didn't know they even had different cuts. Yeah. Really? So maybe people like it where it's not cut. I don't know. That's interesting. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Okay. So this has, this looks, no, it looks oh, pretty good. Fun fact, there is pepperoni, at least I have a piece of pepperoni underneath the cheese. Oh, you're right. Oh no, that's the sauce, ain't it? Oh, no, you're right. Right? Okay, so let us know how much pepperoni was on top, but there's a little bit of pepperoni on the underneath side. the cheese. You're talking about like on the side, Like, right? yeah, like here. Yeah, there's so a little bit. So they do put some underneath the cheese. It's kind of cool. Extra fun fact. So it looks pretty good. It's not a bad slice, you know? Not too bad. Uh, let's see if you guys can see that. There you, there you go. go. There you go. A lot of pepperoni. At least each bite will have pepperoni, so that's good. Let's give it a shot. Well, yeah, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Mm. It's not bad. This was 10 bucks. Mm. Shout out to Little Caesars for value pizzas because they definitely yep. are always winning when it comes to affordable pizzas. Mm -hmm. um, and for the price, the quality is good. Yeah, totally. I think it's fine. I mean... Yeah, it tastes good. Um, I would say I prefer to have more cheese and sauce than bread. There's a lot of bread on this. It's kind of thick. Or at least the balance isn't, you know, the best. Um, I do love Little Sister Pizza. I keep elbowing you. I know. Stop. What's going on here? <laughs> you trying to push me out of the screen? <laughs> no, no worries. Uh -huh. So you actually think it's a little bready? If you were going to critique it? Mm -hmm. A little. Uh -huh. It's still good. It's a little bready. There isn't a lot of cheese on here. I'm noticing. It's hard to see, but 
It looks like the bread is like kind of like that, and the, the cheese bread. is like very thin. True, true. Um, however, the pepperonis are very good. Mm -hmm. They taste just like the Mountain Mountain one, so it's like it's quality. It's not like it's, you know, mm -hmm. inexpensive, mm -hmm. old style, or whatever it's called. <laughs> old fashioned pepperoni, whatever you call it. Well, old world. Old world. <laughs> You're giving a great review, by the way. Thank you. I'm really impressed. No, it's really good. Yeah, because you know your pizza. I always give good reviews. No. <laughs> you know your pizza, so Thank you. I actually thought it was a really. I agree. Mm -hmm. Thousand percent. Yeah, it's um, it's just not as quality. I was, I would say, as like I have to compare it to Mountain Mike's because it's these type of pepperonis. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say this quality is a, of a pizza as Mountain Mike's. Yeah. I you know what I mean? Mountain Mike's has a little bit of a good ratio, like you yes. were saying. Yes, exactly. A little bit of thinner. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how thick the bread is. Ooh. Ooh. Did I get that on you? I think, I don't know. Sorry. I saw it flying. My bad. <laughs> um, but it's but it's good, and yes. it's filling. Mm -hmm. And you could feed, you know, a family. Oh, for sure. For 10 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. And I really do like the pepperoni. Every bite, mm -hmm. you've got a good, crunchy... A little greasy, mm -hmm. um, lots of um, flavor in the bite, you know? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I think it's quality. Uh, what do you... Uh, question. Yeah. Because you've had the regular pepperoni from Little Caesars. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you... Do you remember what that tasted like? And if you do, like, which one do you yeah. prefer? I know exactly what it tastes like. I actually prefer this. Okay. It's not that the other pepperoni is worse. It's definitely not. I just prefer these pepperonis. Mm -hmm. I, I like it because it's crispier. Mm-hmm. And I think there's just more of a, a punch to it. Totally. And that makes sense with pepperoni. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I definitely like it. I definitely like both. But I think I prefer this one a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. And I, I like the fact that there's more. Like, I appreciate every bite having a lot of pepperoni in it. Me too. I mean? The fact that they put a hundred uh, pepperonis on here, mm -hmm. that's pretty impressive. They don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You're right about that. And I would think the pepperoni would be the thing that's the most expensive. Yeah. Um, out of all the toppings or out of all the ingredients. So it definitely is. Yeah. What about you now? I know you like Kristen loves Hawaiian. I love Hawaiian. When we do little Caesars. Mm -hmm. Ah, man. Comment down below. Not my favorite, but <laughs> I don't know why I keep I'm so sorry. Um, maybe I need to push this more towards you? Yeah, but <laughs> Maybe you just want to bump me off camera. You want me off camera. You want to have a solo show right now. No. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Comment down below if you like uh, pineapple on pizza. Mm -hmm. um, I get a lot of slack for it in my life. <laughs> I do. I do. So, my question to you, mm -hmm. because I know you preferred that Hawaiian one over the regular pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer this one over your Hawaiian? Or so the Hawaiian's better. I love Hawaiian. Yeah, you just don't like pepperoni. Yeah. Much. I mean, you do like it, but not like... Love it. You don't rave mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it's very good. You know, mm -hmm. to be honest, if we had this and a Hawaiian, I would have one of each. Mm -hmm. I definitely would, and I'd be very happy. It's a good, like, mix-up yeah. between, like, a sweet and then, like, a more savory. Mm-hmm. Am I tripping? Does this have a kick or is it the jalapeno cheddar? It's the jalapeno cheddar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is a little hot. Was it true? So it's not the pizza. No, it's not the pizza. So there's no heat to the pizza. So. Is it too hot for you now? It's not too hot. It's just oh, a kick. Oh, okay, okay. And I wasn't sure if it was that or that. Got it, got it. So, okay. Yeah, it's not too spicy for you. The jalapeno cheddar? Yeah. No, I'd give it like a 3 out of 10. Okay, that's not bad. Would you give it a 3? I'd give it like a 3 out of 10, for sure. Okay, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But we used to eat this all the time and didn't even notice that. Yeah, so totally. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. So, if, you know, I don't think I've ever really asked you, like, if you had to choose one pizza mm -hmm. to get all the time. What do you mean, like one, like, topping? One topping, yeah. Or one not top just one oh. topping, but, you know, one pizza that had as many toppings as you want. But what, what would it be? I mean, probably pineapple. And would it be? You don't think it would? I mean, well, I really like it. It wouldn't just be pineapple. What about the barbecue chicken one? You love barbecue chicken, too. With pineapple. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I would want, like, That's true. <laughs> barbecue chicken with pineapple would probably be mm -hmm. bomb, you know? Maybe some, like, onions on it, some olives. Yeah. Yeah. You'd probably want pineapple on this, right? Yes. Oh, we've God. gotten it before. Pineapple <laughs> and pepperoni goes really well together. Oh, man. They're going to come for you. I know. <laughs> it's funny. Growing up, mm -hmm. you know, where we're from, 
people had pineapple on pizza like all the time and mm-hmm. nobody batted an eye. Yeah. But again, we're, uh, I'm sure if we were in like New York or like, <laughs> you know what I mean, or Chicago. Yeah. You yeah. Be asking for pepperoni. On the yeah. Pizza. Right. Exactly. <laughs> or you mean pineapple? Yeah. 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 I'm oh, sorry. Pi- pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's like it's just like where we're from. It was like more accepting, more acceptable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. Anyways. Um. So anything with pineapple essentially is what you would want. Pineapple and something. Yeah, but not just by itself. I don't like pineapple. Yeah. Do you prefer like the pineapple and ham then? That's kind pineapple of pineapple ham, pineapple chicken, chicken pineapple okay. bacon, mm-hmm. pineapple pepperoni. So I think I do like a sweet savory mm-hmm. on pizza. Yeah. See, I used to hate pineapple, not hate it, but not really like it mm-hmm. on pizza. Mm-hmm. But because we've been together so long, uh-huh. I've kind of started to grow to like it, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. A little bit more. Mm-hmm. Where well, I don't mind it. it. It does taste good on the barbecue chicken one. Mm-hmm. Barbecue chicken, uh, pizza with pineapple, and barbecue sauce mm-hmm. is really good. It hits. But the rest of them, I'm like, eh. Yeah, you don't like a plain Hawaiian. No. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I'll eat it if I have to. You don't like it though. But I'm not really like that much of a fan, you know? Yeah, it's not your thing. Yeah, but you didn't really like pepperoni before. Mm-hmm. You didn't really eat Mm-mm. that much. Mm-mm. At all. Mm-mm. No. So, I eat it more now because mm-hmm. we're together. Um, but if I, uh, if I were to get meat, mm-hmm. probably, like, just meat. Mm-hmm. I would probably do a sausage. Mm. I think I prefer sausage over pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Over mm-hmm. by itself. You like combos? Um, I, you know what's funny? I don't love the combo. Really? Yeah. Well, it doesn't have pepperoni on it. It does. I think it. Oh, I that's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably why. Um, mm-hmm. But I like sausage, onions, green peppers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Comment down below. Let us know your favorite combination of pizza. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I would also get cheese once in a while. Really? But Jamil says it's too kid. No. People get cheese. We don't. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> We're you not people. You don't let me get cheese. Is that weird? No. Because when you're a kid, weird. you always eat cheese. I didn't, but I know what you mean. And, and, <laughs> and in high school, I was getting cheese with my friends. Okay, well, let me say this. I and would it, like, cheese. stopped with you. It was, like, weird. I had to, like, yeah. I had to grow up, apparently. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is a little pizza party. <laughs> a kid's pizza party. <laughs> no, just joking. I mean, no, everyone has their preferences, right? I'm sure there's a lot of people that love just cheese, you know, by itself, you know? Dave Portnoy, that's, like, his go-to when he does the one bite, you know, pizza. Mm-hmm. Like, now, I do have to say that, though. If you're going to, like, high-quality pizzerias, mm-hmm. a cheese pizza is going to be very good. The one I, you know what I mean? Like in, in high school. Like a margarita are, or just a cheese? No, please, not a margarita pizza. Oh, I, I hate margarita pizza. I don't know why. They're too thin. They don't have enough mm-hmm. flavor, seasoning. I don't know what it is. It's just not my favorite. Yeah. At all. I've never, I mean, I'll eat anything, trust me. But, <laughs> but when it comes to preference as far as margarita versus other things, mm-hmm. I'm always choosing other pizzas. And other than a mar- than margarita pizza, I'm just not a fan of it, really. You know? Because you like meat. E- well, yeah, it doesn't come with meat, but also the crust is really thin. Mm-hmm. And I'm not a big fan of really thin crust. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's kind of something. Yeah. Um, Anyways. Mm-hmm. So, but you're just saying a fancier place, you would do just cheese. Yeah. But not, not fancy. Quality. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a really quality... Pizza place. Pizza place. It's known for... Their crust and their sauce and stuff like that and their mm-hmm. cheese, you know what I mean? What do you do it at, like, uh, Luminati's? Like a... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just a deep dish, like Chicago? Yes, I would. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't prefer it, but I would do it. <laughs> well, but, you know, it's all preference. Is it weird just to do cheese? Mm-hmm. I want to know. I want the fam to tell me, because you might make it seem <laughs> like it's weird. No, it's... Listen... I would say it's not weird. It just might not be the grown-up thing to do. Mm-hmm. That's what you said. But like, a- we're adults. We we get topping. <laughs> I've never really. I mean, I used to eat cheese pizza when I was like younger, but I always preferred. Um, I always preferred pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Like remember when they had like pizza parties and stuff like that. Yeah. When we were young. Yes. I always used to. 
I they used to get pepperoni at least where we did in elementary school. We never did. Oh, you guys never did, right? No. We did. We did. Wait, did you have cheese also? Uh, there was cheese mainly. Oh, okay. But then they got pepperoni. Oh. And I was always eating pepperoni, mm -hmm. and I think they got it for you know because the adults wanted pepperoni. You know what I mean? Not just the cheese. So. <laughs> like, um, can I share with you guys? <laughs> exactly. With you teachers. Because I was I so have... mature, you know, <laughs> for my age, <laughs> that I couldn't just eat cheese. I had to eat pepperoni. I can imagine it. being just like five years old with your little like paper plate. <laughs> you like pepperoni? You no, know? all the other kids got paper. I got glass plates because I was so responsible. <laughs> you were so sophisticated. <laughs> I was so sophisticated at my age. <laughs> we literally only had cheese for parties mm -hmm. and yeah. I remember I was obsessed with like Domino's cheese pizza in fact oh, yeah. I'm not kidding mm -hmm. I'm craving that right now oh just a Domino's cheese pizza yeah with chips on it <laughs> and some Tabasco sauce what about pineapples no no pineapples <laughs> no pineapples <laughs> I used to put chips on you know like just potato mm -hmm. chips on pizza yeah. actually yeah. I'm gonna save one slice and do that later no really yes this is mine okay you got it because we have some chips I really just want chips a little Tabasco. You guys. It's really good memories. <laughs> really That's good memories. That's crazy. I mean, I, we've talked about this before in a video, for sure. But chips on pizza, it's just so odd. It's so good. It gets a good crunch going. And it's so weird. Just potato chips. It's but a, you know what? It's a crunch. I don't... The I, cheese. I don't think you're the only one that... I think a lot of people like chips on pizza. Mm -hmm. I, why isn't there like a pizza place that does that? I know. There probably, maybe there is somewhere, but it's actually probably a genius idea. It is. Yeah, it is. I, sure. It can get soggy if it's on there too long, so you have to just put one chip at a time. True. Oh, you know, what? That's what you do. You one take one chip and take a bite. You know, with the tobacco and take a bite, and then you have to add another chip later. Got it. Or else I think it gets too soggy, you know? <laughs> I'm sure someone's listening from New York right now, <laughs> and they're like, talking about how you're destroying pizza. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to let me in to New York. Um, also... Yeah. My friend, Anya, oh, yeah. you know, uh, she always did the chips and the Tabasco. We ate that together. Oh, yeah. I want to say once in a while she did mustard. <laughs> I, I don't know if she did mustard uh, on the pizza. I think she did. On pizza? I could be wrong. Oh, man. Because she loved yellow mustard. She did, huh? And I know she did on, like, like you know, mm -hmm. every sandwich she would just, like, every bite would be like, do you want some sandwich with your mustard? <laughs> but I want to say that. pizza, she did a little mustard, too, once in a while. I could be wrong. Mm. I don't want to... Yeah. Don't want to disgrace her name, you know, she's in heaven. But, you know, I wonder. Mm -hmm. I think she did. Well... But it was mainly Tabasco chips. Yeah. I mean... I don't. I wouldn't want mustard on a pizza, mm -hmm. but I could understand why some people would, mm -hmm. because it's a very like strong taste. Mm -hmm. And by the way, mustard and pepperoni tastes. I like it a lot. I like the taste. Of there it. you go. Did she have pepperoni, or was it just cheese? I think we only got cheese. Oh, okay. Mainly, but okay. again, again, the mustard could have been no. I just feel like maybe once in a while. Uh huh. I could be wrong. I see. Yeah, I don't I know. I feel like I'm not. Mm. But anyways, it was so long ago, it's hard to remember. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyways, yeah. um, yes. Well, about this pizza. Yes. Do you prefer this over Domino's? Um, you know, I well, so I've never had just cheese Little Caesars because he won't let me. So I can't really compare. <laughs> I seriously no, can't compare either. the base flavor. I promise you, I can't. You've listened. no. I've never had cheese little Caesars. You've had cheese with toppings. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it's not the same. Anyways, I do yeah. think I. I think I like uh -huh. little Caesars mm -hmm. because I enjoy their toppings. I think it's pretty good flavor for especially for the price mm -hmm. Domino's they have improved mm -hmm. but I haven't had a cheese pizza from Domino's in years you know what we're gonna have we'll to have do to two do cheese pizzas one from Little Caesars one from Domino's that's a good idea with chips and Tabasco for the I fam. love it if you guys want to see it you guys we're gonna I'll go doing, to town we're gonna be doing a solo video with Kristen <laughs> by herself <laughs> Chips, I'm gonna make you eat it. Would you eat it? Pineapple Tabasco sauce, huh? Can we do this? We do it. I'm down. Would you have put chips in Tabasco? Yeah, I'd be down to try. Oh my god, we should do it. Be a little weird. Have you ever done it? Uh uh. Oh my gosh. I mean, I think um, it's life changing. I think I, 
I might have had chips on pizza because in one video, I feel like, uh-huh. you asked me to try it. Mm-hmm. I think I tried it. Uh-huh. I don't remember. Yeah, let's do it again. But I would do it again. I'd be okay. down to do it. Okay. That's so crazy. If you want to see weird food, I guess it can be considered a weird food combo. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it is. Especially if we had a pineapple. I know. <laughs> Which we could. We get some pineapple. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. You know what? I would like to live my best life once in a while for, with pizza with you. Let's do it. Okay. We'll try it out. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll try it out. But if I don't like it, <laughs> you're going to have to do some weird topic with weird craving <laughs> stuff that I want. You don't have weird <laughs> cravings. Actually, I do want to try again my mm-hmm. mustard and ketchup sandwiches. Do you? I when I was younger. You want to try it again? I do. Maybe we'll do that in another video sometime. A mustard and ketchup? Yes. Did you toast the bread? Mm-mm. Did you have it on a certain type of bread? Mm, it was wheat. It was wheat? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> I was at least say, like, Wonder Bread. You know what I mean? We're going to just go there. No. Okay. We didn't eat Wonder Bread. <laughs> oh, okay. We want just wheat. So wheat and ketchup and mustard, and that hit for you, huh? It hit. No, like, chips in it? Nothing. <laughs> ketchup and mustard sandwiches. Okay. That's all it was. Honestly, we might have to do a weird food combo with our weird food combos. <laughs> I guess we do have some weird food combos that we like, huh? Well, that's one of them. I'm sure I can think of more that I, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm sure. Okay. I kind of like... I said we do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we should do it. Okay. So, do you have you ever had a sandwich with ketchup and mustard on it? With other things in between? Oh, like a sandwich? Mm-hmm. No. Really? No, I don't put ketchup on my sandwiches. Wow. <laughs> what about on a burger? <laughs> what about on a burger? That's different. Okay, well, same thing. That's my question. Burger, I guess, yes. On something with meat in between it. Yeah. Ketchup and mustard. Burger, but that's mayo. but see they're different now. What about a hot dog? Yes, that's different. Well, what's the difference? It's like a turkey sandwich. Yes. Ketchup, no. No, you got it. No, it's completely <laughs> it's, different. It's, it's, if you put ketchup, no. Ketchup with turkey, ketchup with ham. Well, actually, I used to like yeah. carved ham with ketchup. Yes. But that's because it was like a sweet honey ham and you put a little... But that wasn't a sandwich. I didn't put it on a sandwich. The perfect combo is ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Anything tastes good with that. Mm-hmm. Any, well, not anything, but... Well, so I do have to say, I like Thousand Island mm-hmm. dressing. That is ketchup and... Isn't that ketchup and mayo? Oh, Thousand Island? With some other is. stuff? Mm, so I have Thousand Island, but like... Yeah. But not Thousand Island with mustard. You know what I mean? No. Well, that's a little weird. No, wait, you know, how is that weird? That's ketchup, mayo, and mustard. Exactly. Yeah, but it tastes weird. It tastes sour. They put relish in there or something? What? It's kind of weird. Thousand Island? Yeah. Yeah. They could like make it more sweet. But exactly. Listen, no, that's the weird. difference. Okay, so wait, you want to do a sandwich with ketchup and mustard and mayo, or we're just doing ketchup and mustard? No, we'll do the sandwich with just ketchup and mustard. Okay. Because that's how I used to like it. Okay. Every day I used to come home from school. Okay. The first thing I did was have that sandwich. Okay. It was how I uh, relieved. I got. I, mm-hmm. I relieved stress for the day. Okay. From school. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do. I have another one too. Okay. I used to do um, toasted. So I in like the toaster oven. Okay. Sourdough bread. Mm. Which is a thin layer of mayo, okay. American cheese, okay. sliced tomatoes, okay. sliced red onions, toast. Wait, hold on. Also, a layer of mustard, a yellow mustard on me. So, the, sorry. Okay. Bread, <laughs> sourdough bread, little layer of mayo, little layer of mustard, American cheese covered. Okay. And then you put the tomatoes and the sliced red onions on there. Okay. Put it in the toaster oven until it's nice and toasty and crispy. Got it. Okay, you have two pieces, mm-hmm. and then it's done, it's, and then you put it together as a sandwich, but before you put it together as a sandwich, ruffles potato chips in the middle, mm. cut it, bomb. And he said I was weird. A bomb. <laughs> so good. We should do that, too. So good. I mean, that doesn't sound... It's delicious. It sounds weird. It's the best thing you've ever had. Sounds a little strange. Okay, we're good. But it doesn't sound bad, I guess. Yeah, it's good. It just sounds different. Yes. I'm down to try it, but if there's no meat in there, then what's the point? Well, I guess what's the point of my sandwich? Because there was no. Yeah, well. 
say. <laughs> yours is a little, yeah. What's yeah. Yours is a struggle meal a little bit. Right? It is like a struggle meal. <laughs> yeah. Did you not have like a no, no, I just, lunch meat in the house? No, we I used to have lunch with all that stuff. Meat, turkey, and everything. But I just loved ketchup and mustard <laughs> on bread. It was just good. Nice. I'm about to make one after this. <laughs> You're not going to... No, don't. Before. We have to do it in front of the fam. Okay. Because the, you have to, they have to get a real authentic reaction 30 years later. Of what you really maybe we'll make a reel. A quick video. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can. trying it out. Yeah. And just going for it. Okay. That's maybe a good idea. Okay. We can do that. Okay, you guys. We uh, hope you enjoyed this review. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it was good. Uh-huh. Overall, good pizza. Um, we should rate it on a 1 to 10. Yeah, good good point. Okay, I think I'm ready. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> not fully ready. I thought I was, but I'm like, okay. well, hold on. Okay. okay, I think I'm ready. One, one two, two, three, three seven eight. and a half. Okay, seven and a half, and yeah. I give it an eight. Although I ate more of it, it's like I enjoyed it more. <laughs> 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 you you were hungrier. <laughs> yeah, definitely super hungry. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope yes. you enjoyed the video. Hopefully we get those comments of what you like on your pizza. If you like, what do you think of our weird food combinations? Yes, and are you going to try a ketchup and mustard sandwich sometime in your future? Yes. Let me know on wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be Miracle. What is it? Mir what is it? Uh, Can't miracle Whip. Not Miracle Whip. What's the... Uh, oh, Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. Can't be Wonder Bread. <laughs> it's got to be wheat. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah. We love you so much. Thank you so much Absolutely. for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share with us, Karen, let your friends really know what the Kate and JFM are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out, Trump.